in the last chapter, we recreated the human meta rig starting from a single bone. And the goal of the of that exercise was to get rid of the notion that these pre-built meta rigs are special in any way. So hopefully we've ac accomplished this goal. Ultimately though, my goal with this course is to allow you to rig anything using Rigify. And this character here is the first step in this process. I wanted to keep him fairly simple but at the same time make him weird enough so by rigging this character hopefully you will start to change your mindset you you will start to believe and understand that you can rig anything using Reify. so before we even start adding bones let's look at the character and uh, try to imagine what kind of uh, building blocks would fit him so let's look at him and here you can pause the video and uh, maybe try to imagine for yourself what kind of building blocks you would use uh, to rig all of his uh, features. Okay, so I assume you did that uh, or maybe you didn't, either way is fine. Uh, so I'm going to give you my personal thoughts. Uh, first of all, I see that he has a leg, which is, uh, uh, there's nothing special about it. It uh, seems fairly human. Uh, he also has arms which are also quite humanoid, except for uh, having only two fingers. And also, if I look at uh, the fingers closely, I can see that they only have two digits, or I think they're called phalanges, where an actual human has three of those. Uh, so for the arms, I'm going to use the arm preset, and for the leg, I'm going to use the leg preset. For the, the fingers, I'm going to most likely use uh, tentacles. And this is a very common workflow in Rigify. If you check out the pre-built animal meta rigs, most of them are using the tentacle preset as a finger or as a claw. Uh, as for the body of the character, uh, I'm definitely going to use a spine for this part of the body. For the upper part, I think I'm going to try to use a head preset and see how that goes. If it doesn't work well, then maybe I, I, I'll experiment with something else. And uh, for the tentacles, I'm going to use the tentacle preset. That's very straightforward. And I also want to make sure that I can control the rotation of the eye. And for that, I'm going to use a uh, sup so-called super copy or just a, a single bone. We can start. I'll press Shift A, a single bone. As always, I'll activate in front and axis. And I'm going to name our, my armature. Let's call it Mr. I'm going to copy this name, Mr. Three Hands Metarig. So I'm going to go to edit mode and delete this bone. And uh, here under Rigify button in edit mode. I'm going to search for a leg and add it to my scene. And so Rigify assumes that you want to rig a symmetrical uh, character like a human with two legs. But in this case, I only want to have one leg. So I'm going to move this leg to the center. And uh, in side view, my character has slightly uh, cartoony proportions. So I'm going to adapt my armature to that. And that's looking good. Uh, this heel bone needs to be where the heel meets the ground. And uh, if I look in front view, the width of this bone should be about the same as the width of the of the foot. And as I explained in an earlier chapter, this uh, helps with this sideways rotation of, of the foot. Back to edit mode. The next thing I'm going to do is add a spine. So let's add a spine preset basic spine is the one I want I want and I need it to be a little bit longer my character is not symmetrical and he's bent a little bit to the side but really if I can handle that I'll just make sure that my spine follows the same curvature let's see how it looks in the side view I need to align it a little bit but it's almost there next I want to add the arms I'm going to look, uh, search for an arm, select it and click add sample. And uh, first I'm going to align this uh, sample that I got to the top left arm like that. And uh, let's make sure that it's aligned from the top view as well. 
And so next, let's, let's add the fingers, which, as I said, will be tentacles. Let's add a, a, sample, a tentacle sample, move it to the side, and I only need two bones. So I'm going to delete the very last one. Uh, make sure you don't delete the first one because that's the, the bone that uh, holds the rig type. This no one needs to be uh, left alone. Of course, you can always uh, set the, the property manually, but uh, let's, let's just delete this bone and that will make our lives easier. Also, this, uh, I, need to, I want to rename this bone to finger and this one will also be finger. Okay, and, I, and now I'm going to move it into place. from the top view as well. And now I'm going to select these, this finger bone and shift D to duplicate it over to the other finger. Now that we have a full arm with a hand and fingers, I can select everything and press shift D and um, I'm going to undo. I'm going to make sure that my orientations are set to global. I'm going to shift T to duplicate and constrain the movement to the Z axis. Then I'm going to rotate it a little bit so it's aligned well. And that looks decent. So now I want to rig the uh, arm on the other side. So for the this part of the arm, except for the fingers, when you add a s sample from here, Rigify automatically adds the .l suffix, so that means that I can simply uh, go to armature symmetrize and I'll have the arm on the other side. Now my character is not symmetrical, so make, I want to make sure that x-axis mirror is turned off. With that I'm going to align the hand, or the arm and the hand. And now I want to also copy the fingers to the other side. One of the best ways to do that is to actually add the dot L suffix to all of these bones and uh, symmetrize them, but I'm going to do it uh, another way just uh, intentionally, in a slightly more difficult way, uh, but I want to talk about something that I so far I haven't had the uh, chance to talk about, uh, which is the uh, controlling the bone roll. So I'm going to Oops, uh, let's undo that and I'm going to make sure that I've selected all of the finger bones. Then shift T and move them on the other side. And now I'm going to start in the top view rotating them so they uh, fit my fingers. And let's undo this, the rotation, and do it one, once more and pay attention to how the bones rotate slightly on their own axis, on the Y axis. And that is not good. That can create some problems. We can visually see that uh, the bone have been rotated on the y-axis, uh, but also that that's one of the main reasons we have these. Uh, we activate the axis vi uh, viewport display over here so that we can make sure that we control this alignment properly. So let's align the uh, fingers and then uh, let's say what, what we can do about this uh, rotation on the y-axis. I'm going to select one of the bones and uh, go to item. You should see this roll property that you can control here. And if you play with it, you'll see that uh, the, the bone rotates on its y-axis. Let's move over to this side, which is uh, set up correctly, and see what we have. So I can see that on this side, the z-axis is pointing to the side. So I want to do the same same thing over here. So let's let's play with this roll property until the z-axis is pointing to the side. And when I do that, you'll see that uh, the bones, the orientation of the, the bone uh, is looks better as well. So let's do that for all bones. And uh, also, instead of uh, playing with uh, this property here, you can, in the viewport, press Ctrl R. That will have the same effect. So the fingers are all set now. I'm going to go to front view again, and uh, edit mode, and under rigify buttons, I now want to add a head. 
let's search for a head there it is super head let's uh, move it up a bit and make it a little bit bigger and now uh, by default uh, the super head sample has two neck bones and one uh, head bone but really you don't need two neck bones you can only really if i can work with only one neck bone i think you can also only have the head bone uh, but i'm not completely sure i'm going to check that and in the later chapter uh, chapter which serves as a manual i'm going to uh, have the exact rules but this will definitely work uh, having just one neck and one head so let's make the head quite a bit bigger below the eye and the neck will be much shorter in the side view I'm going to connect the neck as we've done many times so far so I'm going to snap the cursor to this nodule and then snap this nodule to the cursor and then let's go to pose mode select this bone and make sure that the rig type is there and then under options we can check uh, connect chain let's rig the tentacles as well uh, let's start from a single bone so in, I'm going to go to edit mode and press shift A to add a new bone align it and I'm going to rename it by pressing F2 let's let's say we'll call it tentacle L I'm going to extrude two more bones in this chain and then with the first bone selected uh, I'm going to go to pose mode before I forget I'm going to set the rig type to tentacle grab all of those and I can I can simply no I'm going to copy them over to the other side with shift D and this tentacle is a little bit longer so I want one more uh, bone in this chain and also this tentacle is kind of bending uh, backwards so let's let's align the bone chain to the to the actual tentacle now almost everything is in place the last thing i want is a bone to control uh, the eye and so i'm going to press shift a again and that will give me another bone i'm going to press f2 to rename it and call it eye in pose mode i'm going to set its rig type to super copy under options i want to uncheck the form for this bone uh, the reason is this eye if i go to object mode now uh, i'm going to select the eye and i can see that it's a separate object i'm going to simply parent uh, the eye to this bone instead of controlling it with uh, uh, bone weights i'm going to select the eye and press shift s cursor to select it and now the cursor is snapped to the uh, pivot point of the eye and now back to my uh, meta rig I'm going to go to edit mode, select the eye bone and press shift S, selection to cursor and that snaps my eye bone to exactly the position of the pivot point of the eye and that's what I want. And then I'm going to go to, to, to the side view and move this bone down a bit and uh, the exact position of, of this uh, smaller nodule doesn't matter, uh, I'll just kind of make it as big as, as the eye. We are almost done with our bones. Uh, the last thing that I want to do is add some support bones. So I'm going to select this nodule here and press E to extrude the bone and call it pelvis.l and I'm going to go to pose mode, set it, make it, make sure the rig type is super copy and I'm going to turn off control. I don't need to to create a control for this bone and with that done I'm going to go to edit mode and uh, symmetrize this bone and then select both of these uh, new pelvis bones and move them uh, shift it to duplicate them and move them up I'm going to use them as chest bones as well uh, I need some support bones in the chest area as well because if I didn't have this uh, support these support bones the hands over here will have too much influence over these areas and the deformations uh, won't be nice let's add those uh, chest bones uh, I'm going to make sure they kind of point to the arm and I'm going to make one more copy with shift D and point that copy to to the last arm 
and then select all of these bones uh, go to butcher name and let's name them chest okay and I may actually need some skull bones as well so I'm going to add them and I'm going to point them towards the tentacle and with that I have all the bones that I wanted to add let's go to pose mode and make sure that the rig type is there yeah looks good uh, so the next step is to parent everything I'll, I'm going to start from top to bottom uh, I'm going to parent this uh, tentacle to the skull to this skull bone and the other tentacle to the other skull bone uh, the both skull bones uh, should be parented to the head uh, the eye should also be parented to the head the neck will be parented to the, this chest bone and also all the chest bones will be parented to, to this uh, spine bone so the arms uh, will be parented to, to their corresponding chest bone uh, let's also parent the fingers each finger pair should be parented to to the closest arm and the one on the other side these pelvis bones and the the leg bone will be parented to the first bone of the spine and i think this is all i need to do okay this looks good so i think i can go to to the armature tab in object mode and click a generate rig I'm going to hide the meta rig select the character and then the uh, the newly created rig and control P with automatic weights and now we can quickly grab the IK control of the arm and move it around a bit to test we can uh, move the pelvis and uh, this this control and the shoulder control and everything looks not uh, okay everything looks okay except for this eye so let's undo all the uh, deformations that I did and I'm going to go back to object mode select the eye and then I'm going to select the armature then I'm going to go to pose mode and make sure that only this eye bone is selected and then I'm going to uh, hit control P and instead of automatic weights choose bone so now my eye will be directly parented to this bone and so if I rotate this uh, eye bone I don't know I'm not sure why but it seems that it has been used for deformation which I didn't want so let's go back in object mode unhide the meta rig go to pose mode and select this eye bone and yes for some reason i don't have deform unchecked i want to click and uncheck deform and uh, i'm going to regenerate my rig okay uh, then i'm going to go to to my character and over here under vertex groups delete all groups just in case and then i'm going to reparent uh, my character with automatic weights hide the meta rig and now yeah now this bone rotates the eye uh, but doesn't affect the deformation of the surrounding area but this will be all for this chapter uh, in the next in the next part of this chapter uh, i'm going to go over if i go back to the meta rig these rigify uh, bone groups and layer names I, I mentioned them very briefly before i said that they have to do with uh, making your rig more user friendly so i think this is a good time to see how those work if you want to support me click like and subscribe